Good morning, folks. This is Naim Azam, Chief Market Analyst at Avatrade. Welcome to our technical analysis video. So let's begin by looking at the euro dollar pair. It is something that uh, is quite uh, important today because as uh, breaking news have just hit the terminal and we have seen the direct reaction in the euro as a result of that. So let's begin. But first of all, as always, it is important for us to go through this uh, significant, this important slide of disclaimer and risk warnings. So anything which will be discussed in this particular video cannot be perceived as an advice if you are seeking for one please do consider consulting with your own financial advisor so let's begin folks I'm going to bring up the euro dollar chart uh, and the platform as always it is going to be your MT4 platform it is quite easy and simple to use uh, in terms of price action the the chart shows the candle price uh, because we have three different kind of a charts we have a line chart and then point and figure and then of course the uh, candle chart uh, the candle chart uh, price action is the most famous one so I would always try to keep it to this particular one so right now what you see is is your point and figure so which is right or your bar chart right which is over here so all what you gotta do is you gotta click on the candlestick which is right here and there you go now you can see that the price action has changed into a candlestick meaning it would be easier for one to read the price action more closely okay when we look at our daily chart, what we see from, from this particular chart is, uh, first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna minimize the chart. And as always, we're gonna see the price or where the price is trading with respect to its moving averages. We have three different important moving averages on the chart. Firstly, it is your 50 day moving average shown in pink, 100 in orange and 200 in green. Now, if the price trades above these moving averages, just like over here, we will say that the, it is a bull trend or just like over here, the price was trading above the moving averages we will say that the price is in a bullish trend it doesn't have to trade all above all the important moving averages just one of them but more importantly your 200 day moving average now we can clearly see that the price is trading well below the all moving important moving averages let me zoom in a little and then now you can clearly see that the price is below all the three important moving averages now in terms of your support and resistance levels i am more focused on this particular candle so i have wrapped up my uh, support zone by joining the low of this candle and joining some of the consolidation area from these candles and from this particular candle as well my support zone is shown by these green lines as for resistance i have gone to, uh, but just over here and then I have wrapped my lines around the open of this candle and just slightly above the high of this candle. Why? Because I wanted to encompass my 50 day moving average. I believe that is where the bigger resistance level is. But as always, in order to keep things consistent, all we're gonna do is change the color for our resistance zone. And in, in order to do that, you just gotta double click on the line and then horizontal properties, change the color to red. Similarly, we will do the same over here. Uh, we're going to touch the uh, moving average, then right click, then we will change the color to red. Now, we can clearly see by looking at the chart that which one is our support zone and which one is our resistance zone. Now, for those active traders, we have to go into our daily in active time frame, and then for that, we have to go into our uh, hourly time frame or 60 minute time frame. When we walk into this particular time frame, all what is important with this respect is your, your support and resistance zone. Not lucky for us, these support and resistance zones are the same ones which we have picked up from our daily time frame. So we are going to hold on for the price to come into these levels. And when the price does come into these levels, only then we will have a high probability trade. 
but for now i think the price is trading in between these zones as you can clearly see but yes it is trading above these moving averages but these moving averages do not have so much influence as your daily time frame so that is the trend that we are trading we are trading in the direction of our daily time frame and we're going to try to fine tune our opportunities on a smaller time frame so in order to do that We'll just have to wait for the price to come into a better support zone and that is over here but for investors who are aggressive with respect to the risk with respect to how much risk they wanted to take they can consider now remember it is only a can you don't have to they can consider this particular support zone now as always we're going to change the color of this support zone right over here we're going to change the color of the support zone into green but what we will do is in order to differentiate the lines we will change this into dashed line just like that similarly we're going to do that double click right click and then single yellow and then green here we go folks so these are the levels that i am really watching and uh, let's see how they will play out tomorrow but for now you know eu commission have uh, the, the policy makers have failed as i said earlier they have failed to agree on a rescue plan for the for, for europe with in relation to coronavirus and that has triggered the initial sell-off from the price action perspective we have defined our support and resistance levels and we are going to wait for the price to come into these particular areas and then trade accordingly that's all for today folks see you guys tomorrow